<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Lisa Hendricks from parkbench.com and today I'm at Vintage Trader downtown Washington with Chris and Jane Kane. How are you guys? We're doing Good. great, thank you. You have an absolutely beautiful store here. There's so many things to look at. It's gorgeous and it's it's everything is displayed so nicely. I think that's what sets it apart from other antique stores I've been in. Um, can you tell us, you guys, how you got started? Well, it probably started out about three and a half or so years ago. Um, we were actually with the family. We were cleaning out of the family, you know, someone's, someone's house in the, in, the, in the family. And we just had so much stuff that came out of there. And Jane's always had an interest in painting furniture or anything, but hadn't really done anything. So we started pulling some things out of there, and she brought them home and started painting those. And, and that kind of led to, you know, that started evolving a little bit. And, and through a series of just events, she ended up in a, as a vendor down in a store down here in Washington selling some of those things. And that started to grow and, and we kept going to auctions and we ended up with so much stuff that we had collected <laughs> over just a short period of time. We decided, coupled with, with my retirement from my other corporate position that I held at the time, we decided that we were going to open our own business and it was going to be a store down here in Washington. And that evolved into the place where we're at now because the, the previous owners that were in here happened to be vacating, um, unbeknownst to us at the time, and, and we kind of got with them and, and it seemed to turn out of kind of a good good um, a segue into open us a store down here because they they had to get out of the lease and we were looking for a place to get into and the store was perfect for us a little bit bigger than we thought it would be though right yeah so Jane what's your favorite part of doing this oh definitely probably meeting up with the customers I mean so many people come in and talk with us and share their stories and um, invite us basically into their lives um, sharing about things that they grew up with, things that uh, their grandmothers had in their house or mom and dad had in their <laughs> mouth. So they come in here and they basically look at this place almost like a museum. Right. And then there, something triggers something within them. And they're like, I want to take this home because this reminds me of grandma. That's or this reminds me of my grandfather or, or whatever. So really the best part is just meeting people, uh, becoming friends with those people, and, and watching them get some pleasure out of what we do. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so the saying goes, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Always. Yes. So can you recall a certain piece that is your wow piece or what can you tell us? You know, we, we've, okay, Chris and I have a great time going to auctions and it's always just kind of a, a guess on what the next best thing is that somebody's going to like. Because really what we're here to, to do is um, cre create decor for people's homes. Mm -hmm. And so we might pick up something and think, uh, Chris will say, oh, this, that's a piece of junk. <laughs> and I'm looking at it thinking, oh no, someone's gonna love this piece. So we need to do something with it, whether we paint it or Chris works with it. He, I, I'd probably say our best piece is we got this old, excuse the language, crappy piece of, um, it's actually a work table mm -hmm. from a barn. And I picked it up. And Chris thought, what are you going to do with that? And I go, actually, you're going to... It was dirty to... and filthy, and I thought, we're not going to do anything with that thing. It's, still, you know, it's too big and it's too ugly. So. We, so we brought it home, and I said, you're going to make an island out of it. And it was the coolest, best piece of furniture I think we've ever brought in here. He took it from just a piece of junk to this beautiful island that we sold within a couple days wow. because it was absolutely gorgeous. And it, you know, it just had that real rustic look to it and then he made it beautiful. Nice, very nice. So what are your goals with regards to Washington? What are your, what would you like to see? You know, um, when we first came down to Washington, there were so many empty storefronts. Mm -hmm. And in the last two years, I'm sure, as you've noticed, a lot of people know, most of the storefronts down here are not filled. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's kind of our goal that people will realize that Washington is a destination. Whether you're coming from car or you're coming from the train, um, you make a day of it, you just make an afternoon of it, come down, have some lunch, and realize that there's a lot of really neat uh, stores down here that you can buy things that you maybe not be able to get up in St. Louis or in St. Charles or somewhere else in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. um, and we just like to share all this with everybody else to say, you know, there is a lot down here to learn about Washington and do make it a destination. Right. And please keep in mind, we have some great hotels and bed and breakfasts too here in Washington. Definitely. So don't just make it a day trip, make it a weekend. <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to share with you is the Vintage Trader Facebook page makes me laugh every single day. So have a look, follow it, 
and just enjoy what, what they have to say. And, and they've got lots of pictures of the pieces of furniture that they've redone. So thank you guys so much for sharing your Thanks, time with me. And I'm going to take some time to look around here. And uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Thank you.